Hello, this is Oliver at Bedford Car Sales, and this is the walk around video for our 2018 BMW M3 competition. So you can see going around it, absolutely stunning in sapphire black. Uh, got a lovely sort of satin grey finish on the wheels, blue calipers beneath. This is a fantastic looking car. Look at the shine on that paintwork. Uh, so quad exhaust at the back there, also in satin black. This is a very, very nice looking machine, really nice indeed. Uh, tinted rear windows, all blacked out, no chrome work. Just something a little bit elegant about this one. Very nice indeed. So let's uh, open her up and we'll show you around the inside. Nice original unmolested example as well, which is nice to see. Carbon fiber roof, as you can see. Look at that, fantastic. Black leather, M embossed. The perforation holes in it as well, very nice. Overall condition, really nice indeed. So we've got electric memory seating, lovely M3 sill plates there. Uh, we've got the M color seat belts as well, that's optional extra. Um, this is a gorgeous looking machine, really nice indeed. So let's pop that seat back, so that's a bit close for me. Um, so black leather with the uh, white stitching carrying on through, uh, power folding mirrors as well. This is a very, very nice looking car. So let's jump in. <coughs> Fire her up, so she's keyless go. Overall, um, really, really nice place to be, to be honest with you. Let's get that air con going, because it is rather warm here in Bedford today. There we go, lovely. Right, that's better. So, Nice low mileage car, 46,227 miles. So uh, overall, very nice indeed. All the usual toys one would expect. You've got auto lights, you've got auto wipers, uh, cruise control with speed limiter, paddle shift on the steering wheel, either side. Absolutely fantastic, gorgeous sounding thing. Um, I do love the fact that BMW have gone back to a straight six in their M cars of this size now. So the, uh, the uh, M4 as well, uh, also the M2s. Um, yeah, cracking, absolutely cracking. Really nice indeed. No, nice to see they've gone back to form. Um, let's say in the previous models to these, they were a four litre V8, normally aspirated. Never felt quite right, to be honest with you. So, inside the armrest, we have a phone dock there. So you can lock your phone in there. Uh, we've got a USB as well. Uh, we've got an additional USB here also, uh, tucked away under this panel here. Um, you've got a 12 volt charging socket and you've also got a little storage compartment. Under here is your cup holders. This little tray stows away inside the glove box as shown there. Uh, so if you want to use your cup holders instead, you just pop that in the glove box. Full book pack, all present and correct. I say it's a lovely machine, this really nice indeed. I do like the finishing on You've got proper leather, handbrake leather, um, the gator on the handbrake lever as well, leather, really nice. Um, leather steering wheel with M colored stitching running through again, very nice indeed. So you've got light blue, dark blue and the red, looks fantastic overall. So let's get into the iDrive side of it first of all. So iDrive is controlled down here with this dial. We go to media and radio first of all. So we've got DAB, we've got FM, Bluetooth audio and USB. So numerous different ways to get your music into this vehicle. So let's go DAB first of all and we will give you an idea of the quality of the stereo system. The UB40, red, red wine, haven't heard that for a while. So split screen system on these as well, you can take that off and then get the full screen. So bearing in mind, it's only the base stereo system, the quality is very good to be honest with you, as you can hear. So it's got the, uh, it's got the professional uh, stereo system in it. So overall, very nice. So there's nothing not to like, really. Um, fantastic machine. So let's come out of that. We go to communications. Obviously, we've got Bluetooth telephone, as you would expect. All the usual toys. And then we we'll go across one more. We'll go, sorry, one too far. Go to navigation. And the nav system, let's zoom in a bit closer to us here. There we are. So there we are, Kempston High Street, opposite the BP petrol station. Uh, long driveway with big red gates at the bottom. Now that screen is not flickering, that's just the frame rate on my camera. Um, so other things to note within this car, you've got connected drive, so once the car's, um, once your Bluetooth's in, there's an awful lot more you can do with that. This car does also have Apple and Android CarPlay as well. So as I say, overall spec-wise, pretty good. Easily keeps up in the modern era. Right, my vehicle. So 
settings in there, lights, doors, speed warning, stuff like that. Uh, iDrive settings, uh, contents of main menu, M1 and M2 drive positions, which I'll explain shortly, that refers to these two buttons here. Um, driver profiles, vehicle status, technology in action, so technology in action gives you all the efficient dynamics, for instance, lets you know drivetrain, what's going on. Uh, sports display, so the sports display tells you uh, newton meters of torque produced and kilowatts of power produced within your throttle response um, as i say overall really nice spec car so if we go back up we go to vehicle status so in there that's where all your tire pressures are check oil check control and service requirements so this tells you what's what and when it's due so service history on this car um so mainly independent on this one but some early bmw um so we've got 13 miles 2018 which is a pdi we've got running in service at 1400 miles 2019 which is very important and then we've got another service at 5400 miles in 2020 so majority of its miles 40 odd thousand miles has been done in the last four years um but in all fairness um lovely car so we've got loads of history on this thing uh really nice really nice so let's explain all these buttons down here so obviously it's a DTC gearbox so it's not actually an auto box it's a manual box with electronic actuators first things to note we'll put it in reverse so you've got reverse and forward sensors all round uh, we'll pop it into drive now so drive if you notch across you go into manual mode so it's showing the display there we'll put it back into drive now see drive one so it's in gear one but normal drive on the gearbox we press these little buttons down here they refer to these dashes here so that alters the ferocity of the gear change on the car we have several other buttons as well we've got this one which is steering so you've got comfort sport and sport plus suspension comfort sport and sport plus and throttle response comfort sport and sport plus um so um very very well spec machine to be honest with you now as i say uh, you do have the m buttons so the m buttons you can set them up to have all four of these settings exactly the way you want them um, so, as I say, overall, fantastic. Really nice indeed. Right, let's jump out and we'll show you around a little bit more. Pop the bonnet, so we can show you under there in a second. Let's give her a little rev for you. Listen to that. That sounds fantastic. What a phenomenal sound. So, driver's rear uh, beautiful condition as you can see all original bmw mounts as well very nicely striped by one of our detailers um overall really nice looking car this really nice indeed so boot space on these cavernous to be quite honest with you does have split 60 40 rear seating as well so you can fold the seats down if you want to get an additional load in the car so i will show you that so look how big the boot is with the seats down it is huge you can get no end in these now obviously being bmw of a particular era uh, no spare wheels you've got your emergency tire kit in there and under here is your tool kit which consists of a screwdriver a uh, tow eye and a locking wheel nut key <laughs> And BMW, um, the 3 Series in particular, even go back to the E46, used to have a little compartment there to put those in. That was a previous straight six model M3. So as I say, load space for those seats, massive. So let's pop those back up so we can show you condition of the passenger rear. So again, beautiful, see those uh, aeration vents within the uh, front seats. It's fantastic really nice indeed this car does have heated seats as well obviously as you would expect not that i'm going to put them on today because it's a bit warm uh so uh passenger airbag deactivation switch you can switch off that front airbag there just in case you have to have a little one in the car for any reason right so those wheels look superb as well paintwork's gorgeous on this car there we go three liter straight six twin entry turbo um fantastic absolute awesome machine this 0 to 60 round about four seconds uh, real powerhouse of the car these carbon fiber strut brace absolutely gorgeous spotlessly clean under there as you can see we don't detail our engine base this is the way the car came into us uh, really is a testament to its previous owner so led daytime running lights so the 
angel eyes or halo lights as they've been known. Uh, it does have the LED lighting system headlights as well. So as I say, overall, really nice indeed. The old uh, angel eyes there, a bit of stable of uh, BMW. Um, good staple of BMW since early 2000s, I would say, with the uh, E46 Model 3 series. So, for the new owner, this uh, fantastic looking M3 Comp will come with a 12 month MOT and also come with a 12 month premium breakdown cover package and a 12 month premium warranty as well. And we are one of the only dealers out there to back our cars uh, to such a high standard off the shelf. Uh, not many people offer what we do. Uh, we do also offer as well, that makes us stand out, free delivery within 125 miles within our Brian James enclosed trailer. So the car arrives to you as clean as you see it now. So this concludes my walk around video on our 2018 M3 competition. If you have any questions, anything at all, please do not hesitate to either give us a call, ping us over a message, or send us an email. We'll do our very best to help you. Thank you very much. I hope you have a lovely day.